Uh, okay. Uh, so normally I'm supposed to be saving uh, like orbs, right? Um, the goal is to get a high merged. Uh, what's her name? A high merged uh, summer Byleth at some point. Uh, but this banner looked kind of interesting to me, so I wanted to come check it out. Um, I might summon just because for one, there's the spark system as well as for two, we have the uh, they gave us these tickets, so it's relatively cheap to get the uh, the thing. Um, so I mean, kind of like the same uh, excuses as always for pulling on on these types of banners. Uh, they're just like very good value for your orbs. Like you know, you're gonna get something. Whereas other ones, you you know, it's always a 50-50, and it's not something you you really want to be gambling with too much. Uh, I was also going to when these were revealed, I was gonna make a video talking about them because I actually was kind of impressed by these these units. Um, but I figure I usually like. Like I would make a video talking about them and what you know thoughts on them going forward, and then I, I I do a summoning video, and then I usually just like tack on, like I keep talking about them in that video. So I just figured, well, let's just combine the two, uh, and do it and do it like that. So this is kind of like a hero review and summoning as well, just because I mean I'm not going to go that far anyway. I'm just going to hit the one spark, and then we'll see what we get on the way there, because I'm going to be doing the whole circle. Uh, but yeah, the other reason uh, is also because I could use I could always use more merges for my uh, echidna. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's get in here and, and check out what's going on. Let's kind of go over some of these units. So I guess we'll go over this one first, the, the demote unit. Um, I mean, Celiana, uh, I, I, you know, if I say these names, it's, I'm just reading them. I don't actually know any of these characters. I haven't played any Fire Emblem, like, ever. <laughs> I'm just a Roy main in Smash. Um, but uh, Celiana, she looks pretty cute. Um, but in terms of this, the tome she has, it looks kind of interesting. Minus four when you fight someone, um, if you initiate. Uh, I, you know, she's just kind of fodder. If you want to like plus ten her, uh, she's got pretty good bulk for uh, even at a zero merge. She's got forty res, so she's pretty bulky. Um, but personally, like on my end, I don't really have time or room for another uh, blue mage like this. Like especially not to invest orbs into right. Like I already got Brunya that I want to build. So you know, if you got Brunya, I feel like you know why waste orbs on this. Uh, if you have the orbs to spare, like if you have enough money to be buying orbs, um, where you can plus 10 her, uh, you probably have enough money to be buying like packs, uh, like with the heroic grails. So you should probably have, you know, enough grails running around um, to be able to afford, you know, a plus 10 Brunia by now. But if you want both, I mean, sure. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're buying at that point, like if, if you're at the point where you're buying so much that you can afford not only a plus 10 um, her and a plus 10... Um, what's her name, Brunya, then at that point, I mean, Logic is like, I mean, for one, you're not on this video. Uh, for two, Logic is kind of thrown out the window at that point. You just do it because you can uh, or because you want to. So yeah, like for those of you, um, the, the, the four-star demo is an interesting thing to look at on here because you can because it's always something to consider, um, you know, spending a bunch of orbs to get the plus 10 on them and then, you know, have a pretty good solid unit going forward. Uh, but personally, I don't think I would do that for her. Um, the, the last person, I think, so far, so far to me, the only person that really came off is like, wow, I would really try to get the plus 10 on that if, you know, if I didn't have already like a plus 10 Roy. Uh, would have been the uh, plus 10 Marth, the the young Marth when he came out. I mean, that, that you know, if you look at his skill, his sword, his skill kit and all that stuff. Um, then, yeah, that's, that's a good... Uh, That'd be a good indication. That would that would be a good unit. Like looking looking at his kit and all that stuff. Like that would have been a great unit for um for plus tending. You know, pretty good in, in arena and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, let's move on to this guy here. Uh, he's got the spirit of spear, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, he alone is actually like just like if you wanted him, you could just get him. I mean, he's got 50 defense at a, at a zero merges. Um, and 41 res with the uh, fortress res defense. So even if you don't want that, you got the fodder for it. Uh, this is a new skill, so I guess we can talk about this. Um, if he's up over 25 and you, he makes a follow-up attack and, uh, they get charged. So, I mean, it's like, it's just, a you know, it's just a, what's it called? It's just like an inverted, um, vengeful fighter. So he gets the follow-ups because of this skill, uh, but he doesn't get charge off of it. Like he reduces their charge, which is pretty good. It's, it's like guard mixed with vengeful fighter. Uh, minus the special charge, but because of his spear, which is basically just a huge fan in spear mode, um, that's pretty good. I, I say uh, I, he's pretty good. Um, do I, would I build this guy? Probably not. I, for one, I like armors. I mean, the only armor I like now is obviously um, 
what's his name Bector because he's insane um, but I mean you know yeah like his his the, the thing with Bector is like his 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 spear is already so broken as it is that it's like not even a big deal like you know so I mean what other land what other blue lances are you gonna give this to is, is the question like if you look, that's that's you know of course that's up to you like if you're running like an off meta pick or something like that like I'm running a kidna for my green axe so if you're if you have something like that for for your blue axe I mean I think this is a pretty good axe to go with but I like the axe that we got a while ago the um, the pirate one that basically uh, lull attack defense five I, I think that one I think I like that one better just because it doesn't require bonuses and you don't have to worry about getting panicked or something like that it's it's something to consider um what else. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, the spear is pretty good. Uh, if I get one in the in the course of, of pulling, I mean, I, I won't complain too much. Uh, the main problem now is I don't have a unit that could really like you, like I don't have anyone. I don't <laughs> I don't run very many blue lances, uh, so there's no one to put this on. But I guess it's good to have it there in emergencies or not emergencies, but like in case I want to in the future, um, I have like a, a good solid lance there I can fodder off to someone. Um, but I, I mean, this looks fine. Of course, the problem is it's like Bold Fighter, Vengeful Fighter, and this, and Crafty Fighter. They all suffer mainly because they're not Special Fighter. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just just plain and simple. Like, unfortunately, Special Fighter is, is, is too good. Like, everything else that doesn't compare to it. Sure, I mean, Bolt, like, each one has its, like, uses. You can kind of, like, you know, have special niches, but Bolt, Special Fighter is just so good that it's not, like... You know how can you compete? Reducing theirs by one and boosting yours by one is is it's kind of dumb, quite honestly. Uh, so yeah, I mean I don't know personally. I think special fighter with like a quick repost in the sacred slayer is the way to go uh, for most armors. Um, but I, again, like I don't really use any armors to begin with because I don't really like armors that are kind of slow and annoying to play with. But Bector's so broken. He's for one, he's not he's no longer an armor. <laughs> I'll have to talk about him later. But for one, he's no longer an armor. But uh, can fix his movement. Uh, thing pretty easily uh, So that's him uh, like I said, I'd rather not pull him. I'd rather not pull her uh, Now let's talk about this bastard right here. Um, I actually very much dislike him Not like I mean for one I Don't like Necessarily dislike him my dislike for him is kind of weird. I think he's an excellent unit I don't I'm not like hating on him. I'm not like oh, he's suddenly making my bulky, you know out of you know commission or other other like Norn or any other bow units like for one, he does do that, right? Uh, if you get him at a plus 10 merge, like, he will outclass basically every single um, bow unit you can do for, like, a CC Vantage or, like, just a Omega tank or something like that. Um, he will probably outclass all of them just because of how strong he is. For one, no one's going to survive this. Two, uh, special trigger, uh, special acceleration, plus the distant counters built in, plus the um, plus 5 to all stats. Um, yeah, I mean, that it's, it's ridiculous. Like this bow is like, like we're in the end game now. Like the fact that the bow has like, take a look at, 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 at Fjorm. She's got leap tier, which, or like just a bunch of other ones, right? There's a lot who have it. They have the, the, uh, distant counter built into the weapon, but then the weapon doesn't have anything on top of that. Like the fact that this is the first time we're getting a close counter on a weapon and the fact that the weapon is already like, if you took close counter off, like this already would have been a pretty good weapon by itself. Like, you'd be like yeah, uh, the Shinnin guy, he's pretty good. But then they just threw the close counter in there and then suddenly your A slot is open to all of the possibilities in the universe. And I'm not even sure you would run something other than the, um, than the attack defense solo. Uh, yeah, so needless to say, I think he's kind of, uh, he's kind of ridiculous. Uh, very strong indeed. My, my... My biggest, my, that doesn't necessarily bother me, um, but the thing that bothers me the most is the idea that, like, you can't really pull him, because if you pull him, he has way too much fodder, because for one, I'm not going to use him. I mean, I'm going to use him on bonus season, just to, like, meme on some people, because he's quite strong. Um, the same way I'm using Cloud right now, Claude right now, or uh, Lysithia. I still haven't used their skills, foddered off their skills yet, uh, but I'm just sort of, they're just sitting there, and I'm using them for, like, you know, bonus seasons or whatever, or well, I did, I, you know, right now it's Lysithia and AR, but, um, yeah, I haven't really used them, and basically, Shinnin is going to be the same way. When I get to use them during that season, the next season he's coming up, if I pull him, uh, it's going to be super fun to just, like, destroy everybody with this guy. He's insane. Um, but, on the other side, like, it's going to suck to get him because he's got so much fodder. No matter what you, you're taking from him, you're wasting something. Attack speed 4, 
attack defense four is a premium skill uh plus seven to both um you have to find an attack defense solo for one which i don't know i don't know i'm not sure i have um, but you can fight that skill off by itself just the four so if you have someone else with uh, one to three you can take the four so that's one skill unfortunately i think dead eye is actually another skill right so that's two skills the problem being though is that you can't take uh, low attack speed three and times pulse at the same time you have to pick one or the other and even then you can't pick them because times pulse requires all three so you're if you're taking times pulse you're kind of stuck you have to take the dead eye or you have to take the attack defense solo four um, or if you take the low attack speed three you're stuck with those three and then you know either the dead eye or the attack defense four um so i think it's, it's interesting to consider uh he, he's a, what i want to say is he's a good investment for like maybe pick one up now and when some of his skills become uh like you can get them from fodder like when when uh low attack speed two becomes like something you can get from a regular unit and there you go. You have him perfectly lined up so that, like, you know, you just inherit the two of everything, and then you get, like, all four of these, because you can take four, right? You can get all four of these in one go. Like, you know, you have to wait till someone has a times pulse two, right, until that becomes common, and I don't think that's going to become common at all. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it bothers me how hard it's going to be to fodder him. Like, he's just got way too much fodder, and, and taking him, no matter what, you're, you're losing something out. Um which, you know, that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. I mean, it's better than, than, than having, you know, crap fodder. My problem is I'm probably going to have to take this Deadeye for um, anybody, really, for any bow user. Because it's a really good skill. Um, but, you know, I, can, I probably won't take Times Pulse unless I'm putting him... Well, I mean, I'm, I might put him on the... Um, what's her name? On my Norn. But, uh, again, it, like, it'll it'll take time to think about what, what, what to do with him. Just if I... That's if I get him. Uh, for those of you who've seen these summoning sessions, you know I'll, I rarely get anything. Um, uh, so, but here, here's the shining star of this in terms of her fodder. Um, I think she's all right. She looks pretty decent. You can see here. But my problem is that she's fulfilling the same purpose that um, Young Minerva is filling. Um, they, they even have the same stat spread: high attack, high speed, high defense, and low res with decent health. Um, and a very similar axe too, I think. They both accelerate the special trigger. Uh, she she gains attack and speed plus four. Uh, Minerva gains plus four to, to everything, which is you know slightly less, but I think it's kind of better. And if she initiates, she gets the um, basically the dive bomb effect. Yeah, she basically dive bombs if she initi initiates, which is good. Um, but the reason, obviously, I mean, I think you can all see right because of what I said in when Claude came out. Um, Immediately, the very next unit, to, the very next rain skill was the one I was talking about, the speed defense rain, which basically just the fact that it's the, the, the defense rain is the one I want. Um, putting that on, on Boki would be pretty good because she does have a bit of middling speed, but you really want that reduction to defense so you can hurt people a lot more. Um, but yeah, this, you know, basically this helps you stay tankier by not getting, um, by not getting doubled and it helps you one shot on the counter back as well. Uh, so if I don't get her, I'm sparking for her. Um, fortunately, we we have an attack speed push three somewhere, um, and then I can just give her the four. Like obviously, I'm not going to use this on Boki, but it's just there. Like if I want, you know, maybe one day just have like a, a build where she's running around uh, attack speed pushing people. Um, but yeah, uh, again, she's not really worth it outside of this. I don't think. Um, like this, this basically makes her uh, because just. Like, I mean, I already have a plus nine Minerva, right? So, I mean, with Minerva, you're, you're solid. Like, as soon as you get Minerva, if we start building Minerva, then you'll be good. Um, she's free to play, and she's, I think, I think she's just a lot better in general. Um, but yeah, so that's me. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, talking about these units, I'm, I'll probably at the end of this maybe talk about um, the new Lance Cav that we got. Uh, again, that's another example of, like, you could give, like, I, I really want to build her, but of course she takes Grails because she's a, a GHB unit. Um... But, you know, that's kind of unfortunate, or, or which is kind of unfortunate. But, you know, regardless, at the end of the day, um, at, at the end of the day, like, her spear is probably better than this, you know? So, yeah, it's just, the the spear's good, but uh, either you're, you're, you're building units that probably already have better, better spears, like, like the new unit or the Death Knight, whatever, um, or just a bunch of other ones. Or it's like, it's not that really that big a deal. Um, 
getting this the spear. I mean, the the one the plus one charge is pretty good, but it's like the reliance on on bonuses is kind of irritating because then you're you're limited to being like a player phase unit, and then you can't like mixed phase or or like just have them on defense for anything. Uh, but yeah, so that's enough of that. Um, let's just kind of get in here and, and see what we can do. So we're just gonna be pulling on the uh, the whole circle, uh, of course, just to reduce the thing and see what we get along the way. I mean, th for me, this is kind of my favorite thing about like. The spark system has really made summoning a lot more interesting to me. Like, on a competitive level, I don't build any of these um, these high investment units, right? This is why I, I avoid arena um, very much because you can't really get into tier twenty one without having you know highly merged, you know, properly invested units for that mode. Uh, it, it's kind of arguable, obviously, that Aether raids has the same thing. Um, but that's more. But I've always felt like you can kind of make up that difference there because it's not like one to one score. Now the thing about that is, is you don't have to worry about so many seasons. You're just investing in you know your light merges and your and your and your astra merges. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I've never pulled for like a plus ten air. I've never pulled for like a plus ten altina. I've never pulled for like a plus ten you know any of these units. And just over the course of playing, I've gotten you know a few merges here and there, and I can play in tier twenty. Tier 20 I can hit tier twenty seven. Uh, pretty easily, right? Oh wow, that's pretty crazy. What does he have? <laughs> I can't believe I got this instead of the banner unit. Gosh damn. That's like a 50-52. So if you're gonna get a five star, it's a 50-50 between off off banner and on banner. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, he probably doesn't have any fodder either. It's like a Gen One unit. Oh my gosh, yeah, he doesn't have anything. So that's a bit of a waste of a five star, but it is what it is. Um. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I like Aether Raids. Um, you can make up that gap easier. You can still reach tier 27. Um, oh, there you go. I guess, wow, that's a pretty... So there you go. All the complaining I usually do, pretty lucky in this in this one. Um, I, I switched. I read her name in my brain. And I switched this F and this J. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. That's cool. Um, I'm going to have to figure out who I'm going to spark now. I don't... I, I mean, it was it was gonna be her originally, but I mean, maybe I should spark her, get another copy of uh, speed, uh, res, speed, defense, rain. Who knows? We'll see. Um, so let's get this last one here, and then we'll be out of here. Uh, but as a whoa, <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, so let's go. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, res boon. That's pretty crazy. So it's going pretty well so far. This is kind of what I wanted to say was like, this is why I kind of like, what, before I started talking about like merges and all that stuff and, and not playing certain modes because of summoning. Um, so there you go, pretty cool. Um, this is what I was talking about. This is why I like summoning on these because if, if you go into a banner, you go in kind of sniping a color and then you leave when it's not there, right? You just keep going in and out. Um, and it ends up costing you a lot of orbs. Um, a lot more orbs because you're sniping, right? Because you have to go in with five like every time more often than when you do here. But for one, it's like, it's cool because it's like, I know what I'm getting, which I was getting, well, I was getting the green axe, uh, I was getting Jill at the end. Um, and anything along the way is just a bonus. So the fact that I've already got three so early on, uh, they're all just bonuses, right? Like, it's like, oh, cool. I, you know, they're just sitting there. Um, could always use more Cecilia's. I really, one day I'd like to build a um, plus 10 CC, but, uh, <laughs> I got way too many projects to work on to be investing in like some um, decently mediocre, I'd say, green cav. Um, yeah, it's sad to say, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I wasn't too big a fan of her refine either. Um, yeah, I don't know, just not that not that big a fan of her. In general. I just like her. She looks cool. Um, fortunately, we instead of having to invest in that, I can invest in the Winter CC, who I think is a lot better, even though she's still kind of not as good. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna have to actually be careful before I, I do the spark thing because now I don't know who to who to pick anymore. Um, it's probably just gonna be the the colorless bow guy unless I get him, in which case then maybe I should stop. Oh look, I've never had Alina before. That's kind of interesting. I actually like her. She looks really pretty. Um, I like this whole thing. It reminds me of like um, like Demon Souls or Dark Souls, like uh, the Umbasa lady or, or just some sort of... Uh, she's like a priestess in, in one of those games. I don't know. Very Bloodborne-y. 
Um, if I if I pull what's his name, I already uh, Shinin. If I do pull a Shinin, I might just leave. If I'm totally honest with you guys, like, sure, I'm not gonna get the spark at the end, but I think maybe just saving the orbs might be worth it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if getting a second cut because if th at that point, if I do get him, I think I'm probably just gonna spark. Like if I do get one now. The on before I hit the spark, the only thing I'll, I'll have left to spark is probably just another copy of him because he's got so much good fodder. Um, and here's this guy again. What is with this guy? What are the chances of losing two 50-50s for an off-banner unit, right? And then having them be the same guy and like, oh my gosh, there's like so many good green units. <laughs> like, I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm not that salty. I mean, you guys have seen my, you guys saw my... Uh, Choose Your Legends 4 summoning video with the spark system, and I got nothing. I, from 0 to 40, I got nothing. So I'm just, you know, it's nice to get anything, right? But, oh my gosh, it's like, uh, now I'm starting to get kind of salty. Like, what is this? Why him? How him? What are, what are the mathematical improbabilities? Um, but yeah, I think uh, maybe, like I said, maybe it, it's better to save the orbs and, and stick with the... Um, if I get him early, just stick with him and just kind of like be good there. Um, but uh, if anything, if I do go to if I get him, if I get a Shinin and then I go to go to Spark, I'm gonna get another Shinin. Oh yeah, another Rinka. Uh, I love Rinka. There we go. See, imagine if I had two other Rinkas instead of those two other whatever. His, I forgot what his name was. Oh my gosh, my Rinka is plus two right now. That would be plus three, plus four, plus five. That's a, that's a plus five Rinka. Not that I really should do that, but uh, that's pretty awesome. Um. Yeah, let's go see. Uh, she doesn't, and unfortunately, she doesn't have very much fodder. Uh, the only thing you would fodder off of her is the uh, distant foil, but even that's like, I probably wouldn't fodder that. Um, well, if you're gonna fodder something off, fodder that, right? Um, but it's like, it's not a really sought after skill. Like, you don't really need it. It's, you know, it's just fine. Um, but thanks to this, the, the special charge acceleration and the fact that she gets hit, um, with bonfire it means that you you know you retaliate with bonfire every single time, uh, which is pretty insane. Like she has a huge defense stat, uh, and and she has good speed. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. She has excellent speed. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Got a Rinka. I love Rinka. I wonder if one of these is um, one one of these might be him. Oh, I actually wow. You know I don't really get hype during summon videos and stuff like that, but gosh damn, what is going on today? Um, I, I didn't pull for Layla when she came out, but I really wanted her. Uh, I just couldn't afford it at the time, but uh, there you go. I mean, you know, <laughs> patience and uh, you get them. So hopefully this kind of shows a lot of you guys, or to, to, well, not a lot of you guys, I mean, it's only like six of you <laughs> who watch these videos consistently. Uh, but I hope this shows to some of you guys that like, just kind of patience and summoning where it's appropriate can get you a lot of the units that you're looking for anyway. Like, I have a plus two uh, Bector for no other reason than, like, summoning on other things. And then I got Bector as it was, and, you know, now I love Bector. Like, his refine made him ridiculous. Uh, at a plus two, he's excessively strong. Uh, but there you go. I mean, like, you know, Layla at a plus one or just a regular, you know, non-merged copy is very useful. Because you just run in there, hit someone, and swap out for someone else. Uh, which I think probably might be, like... For me, a good combo maybe on I, I might try an Aether in uh, in Aether raids would be like Layla with Bector and then have her like go in there and snipe something and then swap out with Bector and just have him sit there and beat the shist out of everybody. Uh, but yeah, that's that's perfectly awesome. Uh, Life and Death four. This ruse I might do something about, but you know probably not. Um, and the attack smoke. There you go. That that's even better because not only because normally right you just run with Bector and you go in there and you just gotta face tank everything. Um, and then in the C slot, you're running, you should be running a pulse smoke, right? It's the most important one. Um, but, or even now you, you don't have to do that. Cause now what I can run, if I get another pulse smoke, right? I can put a pulse smoke on her, go in there, reduce everybody's defense res, though the res isn't very valuable and boost their cooldowns by one swap out with Bector. Now he's safe because he's going to, he's has, he's going to have special fighter. Uh, he's going to have attack smoke and basically just be Bector and then kill everything. Um, so that sounds like a fun a fun combo to do, and I'm glad I got Layla. Um, that's that that's even without mentioning just how cute she is. I mean, um, I'm one of those guys. I'm a sucker for that like hair over the eye thing. 
Um, but yeah, so that's cool. I mean, as, I think as, you, as many of you can tell, I mean, I really want to make a Kaigoro someday, but um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, very glad. Uh, at least the the Bane isn't on uh, one of these, because these are two important stats, right? You just want to ha go have her go in there. Maybe not kill someone, but like have her hit someone as hard as possible. Um, and then just kind of retreat with... Uh, with what's his name? Retreat with uh, uh, Vector. Uh, I actually know what this dagger does. It, uh, so I get plus five attack and speed. So that's pretty cool. If you need, yeah, blah blah blah. Swap. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, so it's just the swapping, which is. I, I was wondering if, if she did anything else. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, like I said, I'm actually starting to get kind of hype. I might just feel, I might just like go to the forty. Honestly, like at this point. Um, the only thing that <laughs> that I'm starting, like you always like, like I'm always you're always grateful for things like this, right? <laughs> like I'm starting to like wonder where's all the where's all the echidnas, man? I need echidnas. I came in here ninety percent because I needed echidnas, <laughs> but uh, I'm not getting any, so I don't I don't know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going pretty pretty well. Um, oh, it's all reds. Usually there's not there's not much good in red, especially on this banner on this panel. On this banner, there isn't any there isn't any red units, and in general, I have already too many red units. Uh, but like I said, let's just get in there and see what we get. Might get like an Altina or something. I'm not sure you can get her, but um, of course you can always get Roy's. I don't actually know who's in the generic red pool. Um, let's see if we get any five star reds. Uh, no, nah. I think he has uh, Wings of Mercy though, or no, is that Kane? Maybe. Uh, there's Selif. Oh, nice! She has bonus doubler, which is amazing. Um, who has that? Somebody? Yeah, I mean, you could probably put this on something like a uh, the new the new guy uh, Shinin, right? Like the A slot is open, so you can put on the bonus doubler. And just make them even more insane. But the thing is, like, you know, people are running, like, for one, there's Panic Smoke from, uh, what's her name? I remember her, her tome name. It's Illfinger. But <laughs> I forget her name sometimes. Thurseer. So people are running Panic Smoke from Thurseer and then just the Panic Tower in general. Um, and then, you know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Bonus Doubler isn't as powerful as it used to be, but it's, I mean, it's still not to be, like, 100% overlooked. And then this Infantry Breath is obviously not... Uh, not bad either. Um, but yeah, but um, whenever I need an infantry breath, I usually just end up going with the um, what's her name, the brave, the brave uh, uh, Lancina. Um, just because she she affects so much more. Like like you guys, if you haven't tried it yet, just like have Bector with uh, Lancina and like what's her name. Uh, Azura, Azura, uh, you know, legendary Azura, and then maybe like uh, what's her name? What's the other one's name? Or you know, Caden, or uh, that is it that one Ellie would? I don't know, one of them that gives out bonus doubler from their sword, or like uh, what's her name? Veronica. Like that team is unstoppable. Like you're just gonna kill everything. But yeah, so like I said, uh, this isn't as valuable because like I said, if I ever need this breath effect, I'll just use Lancina, who gives you more stats and the breath effect. Uh, but this bonus doubler is uh, is good. It's good to have an extra copy. In case someone comes out, um, it might be kind of good on. Uh, it actually, yeah, it might actually be kind of good on. What's her name? On uh, Fimble Vetter. I keep forgetting people's names. Uh, Brunya. It might be kind of good on Brunya because um, she doesn't get affected by the debuffs. But I don't know. Like, I actually, I, I really need to look into that. But I want because because I wonder if like her having buffs. Yeah, it's not. It's not really gonna work, is it? Yeah, no, no, no. I was just wondering about the uh, the panic and how it worked with her book, but all it does is it gives you nothing, basically. You just net zero because if you have a buff on, the bonus doubler is not triggering because the panic turns that into a debuff, so you don't get the bonus doubler effect. Um, but it just all becomes negated because of her her book, so that's that. Oh, but yeah, this bonus doubler, uh, you can always use more. Uh, I'll go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, and we're back. Yeah, so, so that's done. Um, I actually, I just wanted to point something out, like, and I guess, you know, <laughs> again, right, because I, I feel like I, I just mentioned it way too often, though. Um, but in terms of, like, 
in terms of like talking about um uh roy i, I, I you know like i said i think i mentioned i have a plus 10 roy like all the time um but um i do wonder what like if they might up the merge count a little higher at some point in the future I don't know if I would like that or dislike that. It's just something to consider. It's like I wonder if that'll go up higher. And I and I it just got me thinking about it because, like, right when I went to go clear out the barracks, I just got rid of a few of my um, leftover Roy's because I mean I, I summon Roy now and they're not really useful. Um, Triangle Adept isn't really isn't very good, um, and other than that, it doesn't really have any other fodder. So I just kind of get rid of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it just makes me wonder. Like, should I? Uh, should I hold on to them? Like. I feel like I'll probably get more um, when that day comes around where maybe we do go beyond the plus 10 merge, um, but who knows. Uh, I feel like sometimes I don't um, send the healers home, but I feel like maybe I should just send them all home because none of them ever have any worthwhile fodder anyway. Okay, so I guess our, our luck is running a little dry, which is fine because again, like, like I said, we've already gotten... Uh, amazing luck um, leading up to this. Um, so it's looking like at the end. I mean, maybe I'll, like hopefully I get another another um, another Jill. But but uh, it's looking like at the end we're just gonna pick up the uh, the Shinin. Uh, like I said, it, it does kind of suck because of how much fodder he has. It's like you're losing something valuable no matter who you fodder him off to. But um, I mean, we do kind of need it. Funnily enough, I actually haven't pulled any of the the, the, the two blues, um, but that's just because I haven't had very many blue um, blue orbs laying around. Hopefully if I do get a blue, it's like an off-banner unit, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, very nice. Okay, so here's the last, yeah, so here's the last uh, ring. So it looks like there's not going to be any Shin in here, which is all right. We'll just spark them. Um, uh, so, Fencing Friar. I keep getting this guy. <laughs> Where's my echidnas, man? I need more merges. Come on. Nope. Phase. I have a million phase. Uh, so, let's see. If, let's, let's try these two blues and see if we actually get uh, any of the blue banner units. That'd be kind of interesting. Corin. I actually want to make a plus 10 Corin, but uh, obviously I can't. I don't have the resources for it, but uh, one, someday I'd like to. Uh, she looks like her, her weapon refine looks pretty interesting. Uh, so let's go see what's up with this uh, red orb here. Uh, and it's Athena. Uh, I actually wanted to make an Athena when I first started playing. Like, we're talking like year one, I think. I She was like one of the first five stars. It was her and Titania or Titania are like my two first uh, five stars and Roy's in there somewhere too. Uh, but yeah, that's when I was like really casual at this game and like I, I didn't have no idea. I had no idea how bad um, or how stupid that was. So uh, so yeah, let's see. We've got her already. So yeah, I guess um, there's not much left to do it but to get him. I'm just kind of double checking here because <laughs> imagine going all forward in and um, getting the wrong unit at the end or something like that. Uh, so here we go. We got Shinin. Uh, I'm actually kind of annoyed with myself in terms of like the way these things are turning out like I can't like you can't really just fodder them off right away right you have to like run around um, uh, here HM farming with them so that they're not like going to waste which is pretty annoying but it is what it is scathing archer shinin um, Yeah, I was so I also want to point out something here, kind of interesting, um, with regards to people and certain things like trait fruits and boons and banes and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I it it kind of baffles me why how many people complain about boons and banes, um, because these are the people who don't really invest in things competitively because. 
if your if your unit gets up to a plus ten, you're gonna have whatever boon you want, and they obviously remove their banes once you merge them, right? So the idea that people are always complaining about how oh I've got this unit and it they're they're stuck with this one and I really want to trait fruit it or something like that, it's like it kind of like befuddles me like that mentality because if you're plus tening them, you know you are investing in in fixing that or, or doing something to work around that or or you know eventually you'll just get rid of it, right? Um, so I don't know. It just comes off as like it's very strange to me. Like if that bane or or if that bane or that or that that the wrong boon is affecting you in some way, um, you know you're just not done yet. Like you still have a lot to go, right? Like they're like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's odd. Like especially like oh well, what about like you know like like take Shinin if you want to make Shinin, like. If you take Shin and all you get is like a plus one, or like you try to build them at a plus zero, at a, at a you know at a zero, just a, a non-merged, uh, the, the boons and banes are something you have to deal with. But I think at that point, like your unit is so far behind what other people's units are, it, it's not the boons and the banes that are holding you back. It's the fact that you decided to invest in a unit that um, you're not going to plus ten, right? It's the fact that you're you're not you know fully committing to a unit that that's that's causing the problems. I feel that that. that that I feel is causing the problems, right? So it's not the fact that like, oh, I got the wrong boon, or I got the wrong bane, or these these IV fruits will now fix like some of the problems. No, those problems are still gonna be there. People are gonna waste their fruits on stupid things like plus one merges, or um, um, or just like random stuff when you should be investing them in things that you really need, like probably you know ultimately um, tempest trials units or GHB units because they don't have merges, they don't have um, IVs inherently, so you just give that to them. Um, through there but in terms of like units like this that you just pull for or like you invest like my echidna my echidna's boon is the wrong one it's it's hp i really need a speed boon but like if she loses a fight it's not because she had the wrong boon it's because she's a plus two right now she's not fully invested into you know what i'm saying so that's kind of just the last thing i wanted to end on um in terms of like i just i found it weird that people can complain or, or there can be such outcry for for things like that when it's like when you're properly investing, these things don't really come up at all. Um, and if, you know, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of interesting to me. Though I will say that, like, I am a little hypocritical in that sense because my defense, one of the more invested units I have on my defense, I didn't invest that much into them, but it's one of the units that I'm really kind of relying on and, and really appreciate, is my uh, plus one pala. Is it a plus one pala or plus two pala? I think it's plus one. It's a plus, it's, it's a merged pala. Uh, but I got lucky that I got the attack boon, right? Now, it would have sucked if I had, like, two res boon. Um, like, I just want to point, like, I just want to make stress the thing where it's like, if I had, like, a plus res boon, if I had two plus res boons and I merged them, and then, unfortunately, all I got stuck with the plus res um, pala, it's not really that big a deal, because pala is either going to destroy someone, or it's like a bike, and I'm not going to do nothing to them. I'm not going to do anything to them anyway, right? Um, so it's, it's something to consider, where it's like, a lot of these units are, like, the fact that they have the wrong merge on them, or the, the wrong boon or bane on them, especially for low merges, like high rarity, low merge units, it's not that big a deal because what they're designed to do is they're, you know, they're usually designed around not really caring about that. When you're talking about like what units really can use the the merge, the, the boons and banes, we're talking about things like Echidna, things like, you know, Roy's, things like, you know, easily plus tenable, like lower rarity units like they are affected by boons and banes. They really need to min max their stats because a lot of times they don't really do something too uh like specific. So like my echidna needs all the stats she can get because and they need to be properly allocated uh because she needs all of them because she she's like a tank. She has to sit there and tank a lot of hits. But like, you know, if I get um uh, what's her name? A summer bilith, if I only get two, let's say if I get two. If, uh, luckily if I get two, right? That's could get zero. Uh, but let's say if I get two, right, and then none of them have the attack ba the attack boon. It's really not the, that big a deal because you're only really overkilling with the attack anyway considering how much how much of it her kit and the way she's designed is stacked on top of that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, that's kind of just, I want, that's the only thing I wanted to mention. Um, here's uh, Shinin. Uh, but yeah, so going to follow him off, enjoy him. I'm going to enjoy him during Aether. Uh, <laughs> if the raids it'll be really funny to, to watch uh and i guess as a last thing let's go talk about oh actually i can't really talk about her huh because i don't have her um 
Let's go, uh, Rarity. I don't actually have her, uh, <laughs> five-starred. Just because, again, like, I, I really do want to, though. Uh, I think I, I, pr I probably will. Um, now that I, like, I wanted to pull here to see if I get some Echidna merges, but I guess I didn't, so... I have a few leftover uh, feathers, and I'm probably going to fodder off a bunch of stuff and then, you know, use some of that feathers. Um, but uh, let's go back here. So let's talk about her uh, a little bit. She's not even leveled. Uh, let's just level her up just to give a, get a better understanding of her stat spread. Look at all these uh, leveling things. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that, right? Because it's just a waste because it'll reset when I um, unlock potential. Uh, but, uh, ah! Oh no, I lost her. Let's just kind of take a look at her. Um, she doesn't have adaptive damage, right? Death Knight's pretty cool too. I wanted to make Death Knight, but not so much. But I like, I like, uh, I like Patrine. She looks, she looks a lot, uh, a lot cuter. Um, she's not necessarily cute. I mean, she's 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 more milfy than anything. But like, gosh damn, like she reminds me of Brunya. Like they're both very like, they're just both very womanly, very very attractive. Um, Let's go take a look at her skills, though. Uh, oh no, we have to do learn skills. So this weapon, um, beast effectiveness, fine. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> they're beasts. They're not that common. Um, they're only common, like you know, you'll watch, like you'll see Tibar and destroy people. Um, three movement flyers is what what people like them for, but even then, it's like they're not that good. Cause I mean, I run into some sometimes i'll run into um what's it called flyer uh you know to barn like a you know merged like some a mid merge to barns and then like plus 10 nasalas on defense but then you just sit there with bulky and tank them and then you just one shot them back on the counter because uh, they are in fact flyers um but other than that like there's really no other beast unit that ever causes me trouble other i will say other than um one time Maybe a few times. What's her name? Pan? I think Pan A. She, she should be here uh, in the blues. Uh, uh, someone had a really merged up Pan A and oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. Where's mine? Do I not have any? I, I have some. Don't lie to me. Wow, I don't know where they are. Am I missing something here? So lances. Then we get to beasts and it's only them two. Huh. Oh, that's kind of bothersome. Oh well, I think I might have fought her off because she has like defense smoke or something. That kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, like uh, uh, I, I met, I've met a few plus ten panes, and they are pretty. Um, they are kind of scary sometimes. So, uh, but like they're not a big enough deal where it's like, oh, you really gotta like, oh, finally we have we have a easily accessible, uh, <laughs> effective against beast foe uh, lance. But it it doesn't hurt, right? It's just something you can they tacked on and it, on top of that. Um, that's helpful and it's like cool solid um, The speed plus three is excellent because uh, it makes her pretty darn fast um, So if she doesn't get doubled then you can double people of course uh, And then at the start of combat the units HP is 50 so if she's over 50 which <laughs> Well, I don't think she's she's 50 yet, but uh, if she was over 50 gosh damn she looks amazing for 50 um, But yeah, anyway, sorry about that, that was a, that was a terrible joke uh, anyway um, her HP is over 50. She calculates using res, which a lot of people don't realize this. This is actually adaptive damage, right? It's not adaptive because you don't hit the lowest, but if you're careful and you know what you're doing, you can use her adaptively because you just need to fight someone to get her under, let her get her under, let her get under 50. And then you're hitting defense. And if you need to heal her and boost her over 50, and then you're hitting res. So it's like, it's conditional adaptiveness on you, the player. So if you're smart with her, you basically have an adaptive Lance uh, cab unit, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, which I think is pretty interesting and pretty cool. Uh, it's one of the, I don't know, I like it. I, I really do like it. Um, yeah, it's just really cool. And then on top of that, you know, she has the uh, minus five to speed and res. Uh, yeah, so she has to, has, has to be over 50. Uh, but yeah, so the... She doesn't negate, the, so it's not like a lull. She doesn't negate the the, the the bonuses, but at least it's something, right? You you reduce them by five. Uh, that's actually quite a lot, right? Because basically, this weapon is essentially giving you uh, an eight point speed swing, which is not which is nothing to sneeze at. I want to mention. Uh, so yeah, she's got she's got basically just Ignis and Glowing Amber, which is fine. 
Uh, and then we have attack speed push three in the uh, finally in the Grail shop, which is decently interesting. But I'm not sure many of us have attack speed push four just lying around um, to really fodder off to just like to just be handing it out like that. Um, but you know who knows? Uh, we'll we'll see how people use her. I, I think it's just much better to actually just build her. And then we got the threaten, uh, which you know, again it's fine. It's like who cares? Um, you'll probably give her something else down there. Uh, but yeah, so if you give her, if you decide to give her the attack speed push four or something like that, you know, with with the fact that her lance is pretty interesting, I mean, you've got a pretty solid, uh, you got a pretty solid uh, unit here. Um, I think like so if you're if you're gonna over fifty HP, like if you're gonna activate her weapon effect, um, it's good to like yeah, like I said, I mean, it's just really good because the the people's front lines are oftentimes gonna be tanks, right? Like very. Uh, stat heavy, you know, defense heavy tanks. Uh, so she brawls with physical fights really easily, um, and then hopefully survives those fights. And then she'll be knocked down under fifty, and then she can go handle a bunch of mages in the back line with high res but low defense, and you can just hit their defense stat instead. Um, but it, it, yeah, I don't know. I think like it depends on where you're using her because. What are the two competitive multiplayer modes in this game? All right, arena, and uh, and uh, what's the other one? Arena, and Aether raids. Yeah, what what is the other one? Indeed, um, and like for one arena, there's only four units, so it's not like I mean this whole strategy of like, all right, take out the the res weak ones and then let her go below fifty, and then take out the the defense weak ones. It's like you're only fighting against four units, and not to mention you have four other units too. So like, why not just bring someone who's gonna who's there to take out Res Week and then um, sliding around to take out uh, Defense Week? Especially because um, on Arena they all kind of move kind of scatteredly, so you never like you never have to run into them. You just kind of you can kind of plan things out easier. Uh, the the problem is just merges don't uh, um, don't let you play optimally is the problem there. So it's not like necessarily. Uh, your skill and what, like you know, how things are going in inside the battle. It's more like what units you took in. So the fact that this effect and this stuff works in battle doesn't really matter. It what matters is the effect, the uh beforehand select um the beforehand um unit selection. Um, but of course she's really good for that too. She's got the highest BS BST for a for a, a cavalry unit, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so overall, I think she's a really great inv investment for for Aether raids. Um, just it's important to consider that like oh it's I mean you know in in Aether raids sorry in arena just that it's important to realize that like in arena it's like not that big a deal because like I said they end so quickly it's like there's only four units first of all uh, and then you got four other units yourself so having to like you know mess around with like her HP and trying to get her up and down thresholds and stuff like that isn't really worth it when you can just like have her fight the defense guy and then have your other guys just pop the um the mages or something like that you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, like I said, like even then, she, she's still pretty good. Um, just hopefully you don't run into like someone who has too high res and then you have to hit the res stat. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. And Aether Raids... Hmm. I'm having a hard time like considering running her in Aether Raids. Like, like well, I mean, not considering, but like hard, having a hard time trying to figure out like, like why or where you would use her, right? Like the three main strategies in Aether Raids is like Omega Tanking, um, uh, what's it called? CC Vantage Sweeping, and like, um, what's the last one? Like Gale Force, uh, and just Gale Force End Turning. Um, those are like the main ones, and you, you'll find some every so often where they're just like, you know, doing a bunch of random stuff, as you guys have seen in some of my defense videos, but um, running the running her in there it's like what does she serve right what's her purpose in aether raids two of your units and you know like Acris likes to point out a lot we're moving towards having three of them be are already dedicated to running your um your your bonus unit the, the mythic units right you have one other unit which is going to be like you know which patrine could be is one of the units and then you have uh, a one final fourth uh, fifth unit which is usually, you know, like a dancer or something, um, or I don't know. It's just it's one of those things where it's like 
if you're going to use her, I think it's, it's one of those things where it's like you really need a team and you guys need to like, you need to coordinate the, the movement and all that stuff. Oh, the fifth unit is just a bonus unit, right? For that season. Um, you might use her as a bonus unit. I think that'd be pretty fun to see where you can go with her and, and what she can do. Um, but in terms of like using her consistently every season, I think that's, um, that's a little less, uh, well, consistent, uh, I guess is the word to say there. Um, but yeah, that's that's just me. That's just kind of the way I see it. Um, I think going forward, I think like I really do think that I should that I might just stick with two uh, Astro units because the third one doesn't ever really give you anything other than the the, the stats. Um, but I think where my units are now, like I'm, I'm not hurting for stats. I'm not like like on Astra. Could I use another? Um, could I use another Altina? right for like an extra three attack sure could i use another naga for an extra five defense yeah sure um but where i am now with like broadleaf fan and felicia like she kind of just tends to one shot everybody back anyway um so it's not that big a deal and then in light season of course sometimes i run the double peony and um one air because the speed is insane on um on Boki. but uh the fact is that those two units are two dancers so like it frees up space like they're not just sitting there useless the way like a naga and altina are usually though of course altina does a little more but it, you know they're not focused they're not focal units and they don't support uh the main unit whereas peony does support the main unit um, but yeah anyway sort of getting off, off, ta off tangent here is is you can use you could probably use her in aether raids uh to some degree but i think like a lot of the aether raids maps that you're fighting against are like people running with like i mean for one bramimond is always present on one season or, or another um so i feel like because bramimond exists and because um what's her name Ugh, i forgot her name again uh Thresir exists it's hard to run units like patrine right the fact that they those two units are always on defense because they're for one they're mythics and that's not even counting like the fact that you you end up finding lysithias you end up finding obviously Ophelia's, Reinhardt's, Cavlines. All of these things really makes it so that like your main unit, you really want it to be a ranged unit. So you can get in there, snipe these high uh, high value threats, and then just kind of proceed to take everyone else after that, right? Because no, after that, usually no one else is much of a threat. Um, at least if you're running like um, a dagger unit with uh, pulse smoke. Because if you're running like if you're fighting against an, uh, an Ophelia, Lysithia. Thrasir something team like that. Uh, you just go in there, kill Thrasir. You boost Lysithia and Ophelia's specials so they're not ready when they attack you, and then you just one-shot them back on the counter and they're dead. Um, but like, you know, what is Patrine gonna do against that? And that's very common. That's a very common team, right? So I don't know. Like, she's she'll be. You know, you can use her. She'll be decent against teams that are like, you know, basically anything could have beat that team. Um, but. It's, it's hard to justify her in the broader scope of what, what is so common in Aether Raids. And like I said, um, you know, all these like high hitting one shot mages are running around. Um, of course, we've got, like I said, we've got um, cab lines being irritating as always. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just something to consider. Like if you're going to build her, it's probably going to be... Uh, just because you want to more than anything, but if you're missing like a cab unit or something or you want someone with decent BST that is a cab unit during uh, arena season uh, By all means I just you know just know that like on my end on this channel I kind of just don't really care about arena like if I don't if I don't make it to you know Whatever whatever tier score whatever, you know, I just kind of don't really care enough uh, I just I just float around 20 to 18 to 19 basically, you know from from season to season because uh, I just don't care enough. But uh, if you do, if that's something you do care about, then you know by all means, right? Like she, she could be pretty useful there. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it's just something to keep in mind that she has extenuating. Yeah, she, that's that's a good word. She's got extenuating adaptive damage, right? Like conditional adaptive damage. Like if you want it to be adaptive damage, you can make it that way. Um, is it worth the effort? Not necessarily. Um, but it's still something to consider, right? Like, if you get her below 50, I like the fact that the threshold is 50. It's about, it's a good balance between, like, you can kind of get her, like, you can get her down there, but not easily. So if you want to, if you want her to be um, hitting res, then just keep her above 50 and you want her to not hit res, you know, you can get her down below 50. Um, so th that, that's what I find, you know, pretty cool. Um, that's why I like the way the, I, I don't know, I feel like this, this 50% is pretty, um, what's the word? 
it's pretty almost exact, right? It's like it's like that's really what they wanted to do, and obviously the fact that it's there is what they wanted to do. But like, I think it, it's very intentional, is the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, so other than that, I mean, I guess that's that. Um, hopefully, you guys all enjoy uh, your pulls. Of course, pulling in this game is is always cancerous. Uh, sometimes you get lucky like this, but usually it's just uh, it's just like a you know it's the big suck basically. I mean, there's normally the other way to say it. Um, Funnily enough, I guess as a closing thought, I am really happy that uh, Acarus is finally salty enough to make that video he made about why summoning sucks in this game. Um, because for like years now, I've been sitting here complaining about summoning and just saying it's bad, uh, and then having to like take shit from people like on forums and stuff, and 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 having to hear week week after week from his videos that uh oh just save your orbs just uh you know th you know don't worry about it just as long as you're saving as long as you're saving as long as you make proper investments as long as you're 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 picking you know whatever um but it's finally it's, it's good that he finally cracked and he's not um he's not as he's not going to sit around being as pompous as he used to be um in terms of like how he treated people with regards to you know their summoning um, and, and, and to some degree, he was already kind of like fed up with the summoning system a little bit, which is why he stopped like uploading those videos of him summoning. Um, but I'm just like, I can't, I can't it's, it's hard for me to express how happy I am that he blew a thousand orbs, a thousand something orbs to get like a plus one, um, Corrin, whatever that mythic Corrin, a legendary Corrin or whatever. Um, it, it was just like very satisfying for me to see him finally, um, feel what all of us have been feeling in in sort of smaller doses throughout the game um and to be finally like like because he like i said he, he's felt it i'm sure and that's why he stopped uh, talking about it or and why he never really likes the summoning system but he was never like like he is now like because that video sure i mean acris is never like you can never you, sh you should never like lack respect to acris i mean i respect him I, I think his content is great and all that stuff um, and I'm grateful that he's uh, that he, he makes content, but like that video, if we can, if like if we're going, to, if we can allow, if we can allow ourselves to like remove some pretension, that video was nothing but a giant like salt fest. You know, he was just whining. Like that's basically what it was. It was just him whining and crying because this this system and these things that he's complaining about have been here since the game launched. He mentioned some of the like good things that they implemented, and of course we're all grateful for them. I'm, I, I love the Spark system. It's one of it's why I summoned here. It's one of the reasons that uh, makes summoning pretty fun, because uh, you get to summon the whole circle and just kind of see what you get along the way. And sometimes you get lucky with a bunch of five stars, and of course sometimes you don't. Um, but it's just one of those things where it's like you can sit there and, and be like, "Oh no, this is an intellectual breakdown of of why the summoning isn't so good and all that stuff." But it's hard to to not look like a whining child when you have been com you have been fighting for the opposite a lot of the time. You know, just telling people about investing and saving and all this stuff. And then the one time you get you know screwed over, blowing a thousand orbs for nothing, um, you decide to make the video like the next day or that that very same week, right? Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I don't like any respect to to Acarus. Um, he's a better player than me, obviously. Um, but it's just one of those things where it's like it's glad to finally see that um even even as even hiding behind the mask of like intellectualism and and the fact that he thinks he's very mature and you know his 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 you know just anything right it's good to see that he's still kind of like childish in in some ways very like yeah I don't know, it, it's 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 cool um it's fun to see that like he's you know he can cry like the rest of us you know <laughs> he gets salty he gets uh he gets whiny um, but yeah, I actually do wonder how long that video is going to stay up. Uh, cause it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't say anything that hasn't already been said. Um, it, it, it holds no intellectual value for anyone for one, uh, two, I feel like he's still just very salty. So I think maybe one day he'll just kind of wake up and be like, yeah, that was nothing but me whining and complaining. Um, whereas, you know, that's what, you know, so, you know, I feel like, you know, he might take it down at some point just cause he might realize, you know what was actually what that video is actually about and him just kind of venting his uh, his anger and and his uh his frustration with the bullshit because like i said these things have been nothing new right they have been here since the beginning of the game where was this video one year ago two years ago three years ago now summoning is better than it's ever been and because he went and blew a thousand orbs for nothing 
we get that video now, right? That that's that's all. The, that's the only thing I want to point out. It's just like keep that in mind, right? Like nothing he's saying is new. That video doesn't hold any intellectual value for anyone ever, and it never will, because the system the system's always going to be that way, um, and it's been that way for a year a year you know years now. And um, instead of making this video beforehand, he's always just been like you know on his you know high horse, just you know flicking cashews at poor people and and telling them to stop complaining and just invest better, right? And save and save and save. Um, so yeah, I just it's one of those things. Like I said, just keep in mind uh, going forward um, that <laughs> Acherus is indeed human. Uh, he does like to complain and whine, and he's not as uh, he's not as pompous as he likes to sort of project in a lot of times. Um, but yeah, so again, like I said, um, I, I defer to him uh, in all my videos. Well, actually, I think I've been I've been missing some of them now. But you know, as always. His, the link to his channel is in the comments section. Uh, he's usually very professional, usually very good, very good content, very good quality. Um, if you ever have any questions, he's got a Discord. I think it's kind of like a giant like circle jerk to him, <laughs> so I don't spend any time in there. Um, but if you're willing to put up with like a bunch of you know people who obsess over, who make basically who obsess over him, by all means, you know like. Go in there, ask him questions. He he's responded to me. I have talked to him, or not, I haven't talked to him, but I, I've I've asked him a few things that I that I've needed. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah. So like I said, go check out his channel. His Discord is always open. Uh, you can always talk to him there. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, nothing but respect for for Acris and what he does. But um, yeah, so that that's it for today. That was just kind of my closing thought. I found that uh, the video he made very very amusing. Um, <laughs> for the wrong reasons maybe <laughs> um but yeah good luck summoning um hopefully you guys enjoy the spark system as, as much as i have um hopefully you guys get lucky get something kind of interesting so midori is the only um red unit i ever need because spendthrift bow is never gonna not be useful well it, it it's probably gonna be less useful now because we have dead eye and you really need to charge that special but uh, other than that i mean you know it is what it is um but yeah so like i said you know Good luck out there. Um, try not to. Hopefully, you guys don't get too salty and make uh, ranty videos uh, pointing out the obvious. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I've been trying to end this video for like two minutes now. Uh, but yeah, that's it.